Hi, this is a description of how pipeline ADC works. It's similar to a SAR ADC in some ways, except that all the operations are done um, using multiple stages, uh, passing one value to the next stage, so that you're able to uh, get higher uh, bit rates out um, because you're doing things in parallel, so to speak. Um, the, the way it works, it's similar to um, what you would do for converting something by hand. So you would come in here with uh, your voltage, and you compare it to half of the mid-range. Um, and all of this is done in, in multiple steps using um, non-overlapping clocks, uh, which is not shown here. But um, you would come down here, and then uh, you, if it's greater than half the mid-range, you send a 1 down here to your digital uh, coding system, and this, there's a delay in here in order to get our little bits to line up. If it's uh, greater than 1, you send the 1 down, and then you uh, convert the 1 back into analog format, and you subtract half the voltage from your, uh, your input here and then you multiply it by 2 and pass it along to the next stage. Uh, if it's less than half the voltage, then you send a 0 down to here, and then you don't do any subtraction, you multiply by 2. And here's a little example of how that works. Um, this is from uh, University of Next Mexico. So this is the same kind of thing we see here. Uh, this is our residue plot. So for our input, we come in here, and then we have a transition from 0 to 1 here, and then our residue plot goes up like that. Um, Here's a good example. So we come in here, we've got 0.7, which is greater than 0.5, so we're going to kick out a 1. And then we're going to subtract 0.5 from this, so we get 0.2. And then we have the uh, interstage gain, which is set to 2, so we come down to here. So now we're at um, 0.4, which is, which is less than our midpoint. So we're going to kick out a 0, and then we're going to multiply that by 2. So we're up to here. So now we're going to kick out a 1 and subtract, and then we've got our final residue. Now that you have a problem with this, if you have a threshold error, and threshold error occurs, uh, for instance, if you if you do an in incorrect subtraction. So in this case, uh, we're assuming we've got a threshold error, and we've incorrectly subtracted out a one here, where we should not have. So you can see immediately when we uh, do the subtraction and send that along to the next stage, uh, we saturate the um, amplifier stage of the next um, pipeline stage, and then um, you know you're going to get an error in your final output. Now one interesting way to fix this is to actually, instead of uh, doing one, what we call one bit per stage, uh, we, we do 1.5 bits per stage. And that is illustrated here. Uh, this is a little bit difficult to understand. Um, and actually, probably the best explanation I've found is on a Maxim uh, um, App note here. So this is uh, kind of introducing some of their pipeline ADCs. Um, so again, we come in at one. We have the um, this is for 1.5 bit per stage, I believe. Um, we come with one. We uh, uh, you know we subtract off, and then we come out. And in this case, we're able to. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but uh, in this case, uh, we're we're going to put out three different codes in this architecture. So this is uh, where we get the term 1.5 bits per stage, because instead of just having 0 or 1, we have an extra uh, extra setting here. It's not really 2 bits per stage, it's 1.5, because we have three different values. Um, and then you can see over here that just by going through these values, you're able to uh, uh, reconstruct your, your um, original result here, the, your desired result. This is kind of interesting. There, there are a couple of different ways to do this. I think this is the, the most clear way I've seen so far, where they just assign a specific value. Uh, you know, each one of these you can consider a symbol, and then you just assign a different value to each symbol, and then uh, calculate it out. Uh, so we've got a case here running in QT, um, and this is, uh, code for this is online. Um, and I'll just go up here. So this um, declares a, an object called a pipeline ADC, and it uh, supports a couple of different things. You can um, it's 1.5 bits per stage, um, and the way it's configured here is um, yeah, you can see the different codes here, and then it, um, the way it's configured here is to um, you can actually put uh, a, a gain uh, or a, a residue or an error into the offset, so that's your stage offset error. Uh, you can also put a residue gain error in it, but that's not, uh, we're not going to do that right now. Um, and then you can run the, uh, the converter that way. So um, in order to illustrate um, exactly how this kind of thing works, it, um, it, act, it will come in here and then it, uh, 
goes through and, and, and creates a, um, a conversion uh, with the uh, with the errors in, in place and without the errors in place and then it stores those into two different strings and then uh, when you're outputting things it'll actually tell you that uh, you know we're, uh, uh, we're we're outputting this value now but uh, you know if uh, if we had not introduced errors into the into the stage then we would output a different value so we're just going to run this very quickly here so it goes through uh, all the different all the different codes, 123 codes, and it gives you your worst case DNO and your worst case DNO. So you can see that um, um, you know we've got uh, where these are DNL errors. Um, you can see that in this case, even though we've injected errors into the uh, uh, into the ADC here, um, so we've uh, this is the error injection. Uh, we're able to complete the entire simulation without actually reporting any final errors. And you see, might say how, how that works. So we just come up here and we'll start here. So in this case, we're, uh, we're putting voltages in and we've, uh, we can assume that there's, a, there's at least one stage in here that has a, uh, an offset error. So we're, we're going through and we're, we're, putting, uh, we're getting all our codes out and you know, everything is, is working nicely. And then we'll come down here and uh, in, in each case, it's running each one of these codes through the ADC with the errors present and without the errors present. And in each case, it's finding out that the, uh, the raw code output is, uh, is identical between the two things. But if you come down here for a little bit, you can see at this point, it's actually hit a voltage where the, um, um, the, the code output from the ADC with the errors is different from the code output from the ADC without the errors. So in this case, you you actually see that uh, uh, by injecting that offset error, we're getting different behavior inside of the ADC. Uh, but the neat thing here is that the uh, the ideal code and the actual code are are the same. So that that's one of the neat things about this 1.5 bit per stage ADC is that you can actually get uh, internal operation which is different, but uh, by the time you get to the final stage, the error corrects. And you can see it just goes through all the different um, numbers here, and there are certain numbers that you know, you know certain voltages where uh, the offset um, error does not matter, and then there are certain ones that it does. And then at the end, it uh, gives you your result. So we're able to correct all those errors, um, at least so far as uh, the injected offset we put in here, and uh, those do not appear in the output.